This episode is brought to you by CarterComics.com. It's your one-stop shop for all your comic needs, whether it be graded or raw. Carter Comics has got it all. All you gotta do is go to CarterComics.com, fill your card up with all their amazing comics. Use the discount code FREAKNET, F-R-E-A-K-N-E-T. Save you 10% at checkout. Not only on their website, but also at their eBay account. And the link to eBay can be found on their homepage at CarterComics.com. Again, CarterComics.com is your one-stop shop for all comic needs. It's time! It's time! It's Jam Dummy Time! All right, guys, it's that time we got to step in the ring with the greatest faction in podcast history, Jazz Freak of Wrestling, the JFW Podcast, hosted by Travis D. And I am the Faction Slayer, Nubby, the Amazing Turtle. Where's, uh... Caught in the bay, And welcome into the fourth mother box. No, I'm kidding. I'm not doing what the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> what show are we on? Yeah, what, what the fuck? I'm sorry. Like, are we, do we have to listen to fucking, what's that guy named Hatfield? Is that, the, is that the singer of Metallica? Lars Hetfield, whatever the fuck his name is. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Fucking, hey, hey, welcome, welcome in, fucking Pac-Man. Thanks for joining us. We're talking about the fourth mother box. And you know what? There's been something that I know people have been wanting me to talk about. There's been things that have been going on that I think people want answers to. So, Tom... I'll give you your answer as far as uh, whether or not I'm going to fight you like you challenged me a couple weeks ago on the fourth mother box. Two words. Hell no. Because I got better and more important things to worry about. Well, that and you can't defend the LIM title against non-LIM members. That That is true, and thank God for that. That's true, yeah. Top fans can't defend titles against non-LIM members. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, um, if you guys are following any of the social medias, uh, FreakNet Studios, Just Freak Wrestling, whatever, on Facebook, you saw that there was a technical difficulty thing. Luckily, it got all resolved. So JFW is going to be released on its summer schedule now, because I guess we agree we're going to be doing these on Sunday nights now, uh, at least until, I think, Labor Day week. So if you guys are wondering, like, oh, sure, it came out early. It's going to be early for the next two and a half months, whatever the hell it is, six weeks, eight weeks. I, I don't fucking know. I, I don't, I'm not a calendar. I don't I don't know shit. But, I mean, and it's all because of the LAM champion. So Top fans make shit happen. I like how you keep saying top fans like there's more than one. Well, I'm a top fan. There's not a lot of top fans in this world. A lot. There's more mouth breathers than there are top fans. Mouth breathers don't get shit done. I get shit done because you're getting this show early, and what else can I say except you're welcome? Did you just quote Moana? I quoted the final boss and my hero, The Rock. 
and Moana. It's a great movie. Jesus Christ. All right, well, point is, you're going to see JFWB release on Sunday nights from now until Labor Day week. Um, I didn't get a chance to sit down with Double J this past weekend again because of a technical issue. Luckily, it got resolved, and we're good, and we're here now, and we could kind of cover you know, some. Dizzle, Dizzle J? What did I say? Double J. Same no, I, I I sat down with Double J last week when he and the rest of the LIM tried to take this away from me. After I won it, when I successfully defended the LIM championship in Chicago against my loving little brother, Danny. That- I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is this is this, is this going to be the topic of the entire show, just bringing your shit up? I mean, top fans get their shit in. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, that's we we could we could cover your shit at the end of the show. You know, if we have time, that's totally cool. Because I mean, we did. I, I mean, at least I watched it. If you guys haven't seen it yet, the LIM season two premiere, I guess, came out yesterday. Uh, so you can check that out. It's available over on the Lovely Intoxicated Podcast uh, YouTube channel. So make sure you go over to that. Uh, LIM officially part of Freaknet Studios along with uh, Jedi Talk. Uh, so, you know, welcoming both those shows into Freaknet Studios along with obviously us. This freaking show for the Motherbots and the Power Hour. So, uh, uh, speaking of uh, Jedi Talk, did you know one of those hosts, uh, who's also the host of Fourth Motherbox, uh, Tom, he apparently uh, will and willing to lick uh, Lars Ulrich's um, butthole. That wouldn't surprise me. That sounds about right. Sounds surprise me. I mean, I I assumed that he would be, you know, interested in looking the butthole of a talented musician, but I mean, Lars is fine too, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I mean, they are going to be here, what, in August for uh, the Metallica festival thing on Fridays and Sunday because for some reason Metallica needs to take a day off in between. Well, they are old. They, yeah, they, they, so they are need that day. Yeah, so... Who knows? Maybe we can find time where we'll get like a freaking studios thing together on Saturday. We'll go grab like a lunch or a brunch or some shit. And uh, not fight Tom because I ain't doing that. Because again, I'm I, I'm a champion and I gotta focus on this. That's right, because you're a fan. Yeah, and and top, you do your shit. Hey, hey, top fan. You gotta remember that piece. That's right. Pat it's on the back on top. of the shirt. Yeah. It's a little bit too large, but it's on the back of the shirt. What is your gut? It says top fan, really it says, big. It says PX. That's all I see. Well, it should say top fan. Oh look! Oh look! There it is. Now it's a camera view. There we go. Yeah. See. Yeah. The top fan. That's cute. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay. <clears throat> I guess. Um. As we discussed before the show recorded, there is no match cards to really go for the upcoming week, so we're going to focus a lot on results of shit that's happened over the course of the last couple of weeks. We did take last week off, kind of a break in the middle of everything, uh, just because it's been a little bit crazy and a little bit hectic. Um, so we'll kind of just cover some of that shit. Uh, Clash at the Castle did happen last night. Uh, you, uh, Nubby, you, me, and Dizzle J, three-way tie, because Pac-Man put too much faith in uh, Drew McIntyre. So, uh, so you got a point, Nubby. I, I got two. I got two points, finally. That's right. You, you fucking doubled your points in one go. I'm so proud. <laughs> well, see, I, I had a feeling there would have been a Scotland screw job. <clears throat> yeah, it goes well with the Montreal screw job. Yeah, right. Or that, uh, super wrestler screw job that, uh, that, uh, a fan over here fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First of all, <laughs> Again, top fan. Second of all, if the LIM in my absence wants to come up with cute little nicknames for my actions to make branding and generate content, that's fine. That's fine. That just keeps me in the spotlight. So if they want to call it the Super Wrestler screw job, whatever. I won fair and square. I did Was drink more fair? beer than Danny. I drank more beer than Danny, so statistically... Mm-hmm. I did retain. 
I mean, you weren't willing to buy your own brother a beer, but you did buy Double J one at that IPW show. I mean, I don't know. Like, maybe I could bring up the fact that you voted to have me stripped of the LIM championship. I could be really angry about it, but top fans remain professional. And I, I am focused on JFW right now. As you should be. And I am. Believe me. But if you're really focused, let's see how many times you actually not talk about yourself. <laughs> He's been talking about stuff the entire fucking time. Right. Let's see. Let's see how long you can oh, go without. You know what? Again. Hold on. <laughs> I, I can prove that I don't talk about myself okay because uh excellent let, let me show you how i don't talk about myself excellent so perfect so i did get a package from the workhorse I, so i'm talking yeah, i'm talking yeah he did hey. i got a package fuck yeah i did because i promoted their shit fuck yeah i did go ahead i'm sorry so i did get a package seconds. so i, I did know. get a package yes and Here's what the workhorses uh, provided for Dude. certain services that I, I rendered that you on did. their behalf gotcha. regarding Brainbuster Tees and ProWrestlingTees.com. So I, you, I, got your, you got your payment. Is that what you're saying? I they did. Finally it, paid you? it smells like uh, a baked goods. Oh, possibly cupcakes. I mean, they do give you cupcakes here and there, right? Blueberry muffins? <laughs> those might be the better ones, too. Oh, those guys are ribbers, man. Those guys are ribbers. That was a good one. Good one, workhorses. You know what? I'm starting to get a new appreciation for those guys. Can't wait to enjoy these. Thanks, DP3. Thanks, Peterson. Thanks, Evans. That's right. The, the See, I can't talk. Of I, can't, I can talk about other people. Did you? Yeah, because you just yeah. said how you can't wait for you to enjoy them. Awesome. Yeah, I did thank them, didn't I? You you did thank them. Yes, you did. I and did. you are going to enjoy those muffins. Yes, you are. <laughs> After you thank them, that's right. The selflessness. Ah, oh. God. What a what a generational talent this guy is. Way to be way to be fucking humble. But I'm not kicking down lights. You know, top fans don't kick down lights if That's we're talking right. about generational treasures. That's right. That's right. I, mainly see. because I can't reach them. I. That's true. Light breaking is not a fan thing. Um. A a top. Hold on. A top fan thing. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Congratulations on, you know, your your uh, retaining of your title. You know, Thanks, you, did, you did cheat, which is fine. You know, it's a win's a win. That's what we say over here at JFW. You know, the fact that you committed a crime and stole your brother's wallet um, and then uh, kicked him in the genitals or need him in the genitals. Also, you know, kind of a dick move, but. Uh, in the dick. Yeah. 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 You ripped off Steve on commentating with your with your final. You know, you know, piss in the wind, tug the cape, fuck with the top fan, or whatever the fuck you're saying. I, you know, I, I respect it. I respect it. Um, you just probably could just been better about it. One I beer mean, to zero. You're still your beer drinking champion, PX. You're I mean, goofy jorts and sandals. I mean, don't we have shows to talk about? Do we <clears throat> want to just make this show all about me? I mean. We could. I mean, you, you've done a lot of stupid shit. I mean, I listened to the LIM fucking uh, podcast yesterday, and they brought up all of these examples of all these uh, these, these shady endeavors that you went through to retain and hold on to that title. It, it's insane. I mean, I applaud you, you know. You know, you don't, you don't see that kind of commitment from, you know, a fucking fan, but you know, here you are fucking hey, doing hey, it. Hey. Again, you're doing it again. It's, 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 uh, it's top fan, and I, I know it's a newer thing, that's going on right now. So your confusion, it's it it's completely fine. I'm not upset about it. But I remember, like I, I feel like it's it's top thing, fan. Top. Like no, no, no. I feel like no. A fan. Thing. No, no, no. Let me define the difference. 
a top fan or a, a fan just on its own. Yeah. That's just a mouth breather that pays their money to go see wrestling and hoping that they get what they want at the end of the day. And that's not how life works. What a top fan is, is someone who does all the work, gets all of the reward. And if you're wondering if there was like a picture in the dictionary about what a top fan is, it would be this mug, this belt, and this awesome shirt, all in that picture in your dictionary. So Webster's, if you want me for a photo shoot, I'm ready for my close-up. So a top fan is somebody who re- who reaps all the rewards and all the benefits. And a fan pays money in hopes of getting great things out of something. I think that's pretty. That's a pretty clear definition. So it's you describe clear... the prostitute and the people who hire prostitutes. Well, you're making my so, work. I did. Okay, I did. All right, now here's the thing. Are I you a did, fucking prostitute? I are, didn't. Is, are, wanna, are people handed you money? I don't want to say that, and I don't want to judge what mouth breathers do in their personal right. time. But I know what I do in my personal time, and that is making sure that this title, that the brand of the LIM, is as strong as it can possibly be. But it's not because everyone doesn't want you. Everyone wants you to relinquish that title. Well. That's not happening, is it? Well, we don't know because don't you have to have a unanimous vote and you haven't gotten, you know, you haven't taken everyone's vote because technically Simp didn't vote because it was you. The rules of Operation Crazy Rock, which I managed to get from a source of mine because I didn't write that part of the LIM bylaws. Wasn't Crazy Rock a strip club in Romeoville? So... True, true. Okay. That was partly the inspiration for whatever gotcha. drunk guy and, came up with that in our group. Yeah, and you associate but I got, yourself with being a prostitute like I 45 caught, seconds ago. So, gotcha. I, so I caught when... Oh, wait, Crazy Rock? Tassels and fucking, uh, uh, fucking stickies on the pasties. Can't show so, nipples, Crazy Rock. I was so there once. I caught wind... Before they that tore this, it down, yeah. So, so I caught wind that something was going to go down. And I won't identify my source. But the one thing that I can say is that the vote has to happen in one night. So because Simp was absent, for whatever reason, he was gone. And I hope he's okay. Genuinely, I don't want anything bad to happen to the guy. You know, he's a world-class hacker. He needs to, the world needs his white hack, white hat, hacking skills but because it wasn't a unanimous vote and we were missing a member operation crazy rock was a failure and because it was the only time it was the only time where operation crazy rock could be invoked because remember operation crazy rock can only be invoked one time during any lim members title reign I am holding this title still. I'm not letting go of it. And when you're the champ, people want to try to uh, to uh, take what's rightfully yours Mm -hmm. that you earned, that you actually defended. Unlike my loving brother, Danny, who just talked about it the whole time. It's natural. I get it. But. To my other top fans out there, just know the title's going to stay safely on this shoulder, around my waist, wherever it needs to go. That's your That's leader it. there, Nubby. That's your leader right there. That's the group you wanted to join. I said, I said not to do it. Look at that. Look at that. Now you're, now you're leading by the fan. It is kind of interesting. I mean, you notice in the intro of the lovely intoxicated podcast, I'm not in it. Noticed. 
who Maximus O'Brien is. He is, yeah. And the breaking news that he was invited. Were you invited onto the LIM season premiere? Actually, this time I wasn't. <sighs> Sounds like Gabagool's fault. Mm. 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 Told, you, told, you not, told you not to do it, Nubby. But you went and did it. All those, all those fucking uh, empty promises that you were given. You didn't even get a shot at the LIM title. No. 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 Instead, he went after uh, a sober-minded person and, you know, Jesus' favorite child. Stole the wallet of another guy. Cut no, corners. We, we, are, we may just see each other soon. There is a IPW show coming up, the Axe. Yeah, and I think Nubby would love to have a title shot for that, for the LIM belt. I mean, he is an LIM member, so he is entitled to a title shot. Come on, be a fan and give him the title shot. Wait, 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 wait. You're still, you're still doing it, though. You're still... Don't avoid it. Don't avoid it. Don't, don't avoid it. Dumb, dumb, that dumb. I'm... You're not saying the other word that should come before fan. Yeah, that's fine. He'll be okay now. Give Nubby a title shot. Give him a title shot. Challenge accepted. Nubby's challenged you for a fucking title. Let him have a title. Oh, give him a title shot. I might be willing to take it under consideration, but my only hesitation mm-hmm. is, uh, you know, he did he did kind of vote for me to be stripped of this. Well, Nubby, is that true? Well, I weighed down the options, watched the podcast this week, and a lot of things made sense. And I would never steal another man's wallet. No, I'm, I might not. Thing. I might not like Danny because of his dumb hatred over Hawaiian bread. That is stupid, yeah. I would never steal his wallet. No, Pac Man did, though. Yeah. And need him in the genitals. Yeah. Threw a fit as he was walking out the door. Yeah, that's another thing. I would never knee somebody in the genitals. No, oh, Pac-Man did, though. Yeah, that's some shady shit right there. I mean, yeah, if they do it to me, that's one thing. But he did it intentionally yeah. to retain a title. Here's what I'm willing to say. Um, Ooh, he's got some more shit to say. I will actually explain my actions on the second part of our season premiere on Wednesday is when it will debut on the LIM Facebook page and YouTube channel. So all I'm going to say, Nubby, is watch that show. Because (laughs) if you notice, there's... There's a lot of inconsistencies in the way that Gabagool and Double J presented the facts. And there was video clips that were interspersed throughout that completely contradicted aspects of their story. I don't know if you can trust them on that because it seems clear that they have an agenda and that they're willing to bend the truth to promote their own narrative and you know, I can sleep well at night. Gabagool can't. He can't challenge for this because of his own pride. But you're going to want to listen to my side of things before you rush to judgment. You can tell me what you think next week when we do this show again. Okay, but, I'll, give you the, I'll give you this then. If you can, in that episode coming up, if you prove to me that you are correct and that you're telling the truth, I will withdraw my challenge. Fuck that, Nubby. Fuck that, no. You you fucking challenge for that belt. Regardless of his attitude or what he did or didn't do, you're still entitled to a title shot. And if he's any type of man, he'd fucking put that title on the line. And he'd fight you for it. Pound for pound, drink for drink, man. There's a, method to, there's a method to my man. This no, but, no, he's a fucking fan. You can beat him. It's not that fucking hard. Hey. Come on, man. He, he's, a, he's an untrained wrestler, hey. man. He, he's a front row fucking other side of the guardrail fucking fan. It's fine. 
Hey, P.S. What, what's behind you? <clears throat> Travis. Oh, my bad. Uh, oh, that hamper. You're talking about the hamper there? That's yeah, okay. Never yeah. mind. Never I mind. Hamper. I thought I saw something move. Uh, it's fine. Solid. Solid. Uh, all, all right. 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 Yeah, we'll we'll move on. We'll move on from the LIM stuff. I'm sure everything will be answered uh, this coming Wednesday. Uh, was it the 19th? The June 19th? June 19th. Yeah. June 19th. Uh, part two of the season premiere. Uh, let's dive into some results and shit though, because a lot did happen over the past couple weeks, and we'll kind of pick and choose some shit. Nubby, you got the majority of it, so bring some stuff up, and we'll see what we can talk about here. All right. So, um, CSW uh, had a show last Saturday in the rain. For Academy Upstart. How bad was the rain? Because I heard out in Indiana it was pretty aggressive. Was it bad up in Chicago too? So, it was windy. But yeah. the rain itself wasn't as hard up until the end of the show. Mm. But the wind made it seem much worse. Gotcha. I was standing under a tent. And you would think if there was no wind, I wouldn't have got wet. I still got wet. Damn wind. Fuck. I even told it to shut up. And the windy city and its wind. It's crazy. <laughs> but how, 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 how was the turnout for the show and how was uh how was the matches? Because this, uh, this was uh this was a student show, right? I mean they had uh, they had some uh CSW guys there, but it was a student yeah. show for the most part. Yeah. Student show for um were you booked on it? I was not, but I did uh take my other role. As um, timekeeper and other stuff, so I stepped in for more duties because um, someone else in production had to do other things. So I stepped up a little bit more and helped out, and everything actually went well. The fans were great; they stayed for the entire show. Yeah, some went, um, got a little sheltered by the bar but that's fine they were still there cheering screaming booing you know they were they didn't go home so that's a good thing gotcha. well uh what were some of the uh, highlights of the matches and stuff what uh i'm assuming I mean, kj carter was there he was there and actually he was on the pre-show as he teamed with joey pearson and they got the win over king trell and sam eli I like Sam Eli. I like uh, I like KJ Carter so much more. Uh, he um, he definitely impresses, especially the the match he had with you last month was fucking awesome. Um, I don't know. I, I I guess I really didn't ask, but how how do you feel being in the ring with him? I know you seen him in CSW and you guys did Battle Royals and stuff, but one on one, what's your opinion on him? I think he's got a future in this business for sure. Um, you know, I, I didn't. Going into that match, I didn't know how it was going to be because, you know, I, I don't know if I can keep up with these young guys. Well, I kept up with them pretty good. Yeah. I held my own. I didn't um, pass out. I was good. <laughs> you didn't get tired. <laughs> I mean, I was able to just, you know, I as fast as he was, I was able yeah. to slow him down a bit. So I well, brought him down you, to my size, if you will. Well, you, you utilize a lot of your technical knowledge. Yeah. So as soon as you're able to get a hold of him, you're able to get him down to the ground and, you know, do your shit. Uh, no, he's a self He reminds me, uh, him and Kid Lat kind of seem very similar yeah. to me uh, in the sense, smaller kids, quicker kids, and shit like that. But obviously, you know, Russell League, CSW, different styles of training that get shows, but they seem very similar to me. Um, yeah. What else? What else happened over at CSW? Uh, Axel Rico uh, defeated Jax Johnson. We'll which see. was a good thing. So fuck, fuck Jax Johnson and the brass. Um, and an interesting development. Um, Chris Miller, who was scheduled to face Lee Metallic, um, I actually had gotten a message um, as Chris Miller was coming out to the ring that Lee, Lee Metallic had car trouble. And I had to relay that message to Steve. And so... Chris Miller got on the mic and he made an open challenge to anybody. He was mainly trying to call out uh, Lily Pascadita. Did but you step she up did not come out. Did you step I, up? I, I almost did. 
Got it right. I was this close, but right. come on. How badly someone... did you want to get in a fucking ring against Miller, though, right? Oh, I, I want to kick him <laughs> in the face, but I I was just a little late as yeah. lovely Lucia answered that challenge. Oh, I, I fucking love her. She. I, I, I do feel bad that I missed her match with Amazon on Sunday, and we, we may be able to talk a little bit about that. I wasn't oh, yeah. there. Um, but her debut at SCW against Erica was fucking fantastic. Um, so I can imagine she held her own against fucking Miller. She, she doesn't seem quite all there, but she seems there enough in a sense. But I mean, she came out. Um, she it, it was like watching John Cena and Kurt Angle all over again. Mm-hmm. Because ruthless aggression was brought up and yeah. she slapped the shit out of Chris Miller. Oh, he kind of deserves it. Oh, he deserves it every time. Do you, uh, because I mean, obviously we've seen what Miller has done to the women's division at CSW, but did you see that video on uh, on Facebook from the um, from that wrestling show this past weekend where Muggsy fucking just knocked the shit out of Sierra in the ring? I did not see that. You did not see that video? Fucking look, no. dude. If I find it, I'll send it to you, but look it up, dude. Because she's on the ring. I don't know who she's fucking wrestling, but I, I, I think she put something in a sh- somebody in a sharpshooter. I think it was a sharpshooter. And he just fucking just nonchalantly gets into the fucking ring, fucking smacks her in the mouth, and just walks out, and she just falls the fuck over. Dude, it it was it was the most hilarious fucking moment just because of him literally like, just like da 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 boom and they're fucking walking out. But the fucking punch that he threw was aggressive as fuck. I'll see if I can, I can find it and I'll share it in the chat. But it reminds me so much of the stories about Miller and the fucking women's division and shit and how, you know, he's pretty much, you know, Disco inferno it up in fucking Impact and shit. Yeah. Um, but uh, Chris Miller ended up getting, I guess it was the win. Uh, it, the match became a thing. Um, mm-hmm. Got the win. But then uh, Lee Metallic actually showed up. Eventually, and he went up against Chris Miller, but Chris Miller ended up getting the victory over him. And then as he was beating Lee Metallic down after the match, Lily Pescadita came out to save the day and knocked Chris Miller out with the chair. So he got his comeuppance. Yeah, good. I like when people get their comeuppance. Take no packs. Yeah, even top fans get their come up and Fuck yeah. Even top fans get their come up in sometime. Are you listening? What? Yeah. yeah I, um, I I I lost you for like a second. What was that? Get your hands off your fucking dick and listen to what we're saying. No, it's it's on this. It's on we, this. Because we, people say and then I'm not responsible yeah. with this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, nobody knows. Fucking nobody knows. I quit. <laughs> People say that I don't keep this thing close to me and that I'm not responsible with it, but I'm proving right now that I am because I am holding this title the entire show. I have not put it down yet. Good for you. Good for you, man. Oh, Lord. Do- Given given that uh, and you could fucking urban dictionary if you like this one, you're given that title about the old Viking uh, mask. I don't know if I want to look that up. Oh fucking look it up. Let's fourth mother box this segment. Look up Viking mask or Viking helmet. One of those two. Look it up. Go ahead. <laughs> while Go, he look, does that. <laughs> yeah, why yeah, why you do that? Um Eddie Grayson and Jack Valor uh defeated uh the storyteller. And Lennox Leon in a tag team match. Uh, he's literally a storyteller because he carries around a book and likes to t- talk about it. So he's a storyteller. And what kind of stories though? Um, he he'll talk about any story. Like it could be a horror story. It could be a you know science fiction story. It could be anything. Did you find it? Look at your face. Said you did. That's disgusting. Why would I do that to a championship title? I don't know. Read it out loud. Let's see what, what it says. Listen up, Mama PX. Happy, oh, by the way, happy Father's Day, fucking uh, Papa, Papa Pax. Thank God. And thank you for putting a picture of me next to your fucking uh, 
condoms and shit. That ain't weird. Go ahead, Pack. <laughs> fucking open up the drawer next to your parents' fucking uh, bed. Fucking lube, vibrators, condom, picture of travesty. Whatever fucking works for him. All right. What's the Viking mask? Let's read I'm, just, I'm just, it, it's giving me a minute because I'm like taking it all in. Yeah, that's right. Don't imagine your fucking father on top of your mother. That's just weird. Taking it all in, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of top fans, you know what I'm saying? Top only fans. Fucking Pac Man ain't the only top fan in the Ackerman household, huh? Placing <laughs> one's penis. Yeah, on. yeah, there we go. Placing one's penis on a girl's face so it rests straight down on the bridge of her nose. That's right. How would that make sense? It's a title. It's not a. Wait, there's more. T- isn't there more to it? Nope, that's it. Oh yeah, the balls are supposed to be over the eyes too and shit. Well, yeah. you're saying it's just a title. Well, didn't uh, D'Angelo Steele name his title? Fuck Rachel? yeah! There we go. What do you what do you call your what do you call your title? Is it Stan? Oh, it's just the L I M Beer Drinking Championship. I'm not crazy. <laughs> of course not. I'm perfectly normal. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of crazy, Mattel Valentine, who was supposed to wrestle Shelly Benson, um, she could not uh, participate in the show. I do not know why, but she was not in attendance. So AMB took, um, took her place, but Mattel Valentine did get the win. Then we had Steve Boz and Raphael Quintero defeating FXB and Less Than Hades. Now, I, perhaps I should explain this Less Than Hades. Hades X1X, I guess. Yeah, Hades 19. Um, um, he had his mask on, hmm. but came out in, in panda trunks. When was the last time Hades wrestled on CSW before this? It's uh, been a minute. Long, it's it was been like, a minute. It was like season finale or some shit, wasn't it? Like November or something? It was It was in November, I believe, and it was against CJ Esparza uh, yeah. in 2019. Um, yeah, and Hades, less than Hades, came out and wrestled in Panda Trunks. Pandas are one of the more cooler animals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I, I think that the most interesting part was uh, Steve Boz uh, coming out to sexing in I Know It. But there's another thing that happened, and I, I'll i never forget it as much as I would want to. <sighs> Idolizer Nani was in attendance, and she was dancing to the song. You guys take a picture together, too. Post it up on her uh, plush uh, Facebook page. Here's what I don't get with Nani. See, and I'm going to talk about somebody else. Yeah, Big yeah, fan. another top fan, yeah. No, 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 she's she's definitely not a top fan. Like I she's a, on the she same is level. A, she, all right, here's what I'll say. She's a passionate fan. You guys are one fan. of the same, just fucking laying your dicks on fucking shit. I get it. She's <laughs> a passionate As a she's top a, fan, you're entitled to drop your dicks on whatever you fucking want. Title belts, Damien Gray, whatever. She's a passionate fan. I will give her that. But fan, yeah. She's not a top fan. She's, yeah, but though, she's here's, a, here's what's weird. Because she's been claiming that in LIM content, there's like weird messages sprinkled throughout and none of us can see it. That's like the one thing that unites LIM these days is that no one in LIM can see what the hell she's even talking about. So I don't know what her play is with that, but uh, she should go to like Kyle or BetterHelp.com or something, get help for whatever she's dealing with. I wish her the best. That's right. Speaking of trains, uh, um, speaking of speaking of Kyle, uh, by the way, Mr. Kyle, um, your take on Jurassic World wrong. Anyway. I, you know, and that's another thing too. Like, I don't understand how Kyle doesn't listen to our show, but he has the opinion of that we never say shit about Tom. 
Now I can't yeah. remember because my memory is shit. But you guys might. Didn't I mock Tom and saying, "How can I be afraid of somebody who stands in line for teacups?" Yep. I mean, I did say that on the last episode, right? But yeah, he says that we were too afraid to fucking uh, talk about Tom. It's I mean, retrospect, Tom doesn't do anything. I mean, he does shit to Pac Man, challenging him for fucking belts and shit. But I mean, realistically, I mean, that, 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 Tom doesn't do anything, you know, to fucking you know justify being. Poke fun at it. You know, it's mostly Kyle who talks about how he's fucking better than everyone because he has an associate degree in listening or some goofy shit. I don't fucking know. And his takes on stuff are bad. Just yeah. like his just like the episode today, his take on a Jurassic World was shit. Oh, I didn't I, yeah, I yeah, I can't wait to listen to it tomorrow. It's gonna be weird because I I, I don't normally listen to Fourth Mother Box until Monday mornings, but now we're gonna be doing this show on Sundays. I guess I gotta try to listen to it on Sundays now. Mm. Um, I, Kyle's opinion on a lot of shit just doesn't make fucking sense, but it's because the way he comes off, he comes off like a fucking piece of shit, you know, he, like he's better than everyone, like he's entitled, like he sits there that that, that he sits above all, well, kind of like Pac-Man here, you know, very similar, just just dipshits who put themselves above everyone because they feel that they're allowed to. I don't fucking know. I don't get it. Well, speaking of dipshits that think they're above everything, that's right. Pat. Any uh, the Metro Division champion in the Estra uh, defeated Nathan Nile, Lizard Man. It, now, I'll, I'll say say this: the ring at this point was all puddle, slick as shit, mm-hmm. and yet these two high flyers still managed to get all their high flying shit in and not break themselves. That's what I call fucking talent right there. Yeah, I might call Andy Esther a dipshit because he's part of the brass, but he's still a talented dipshit. Yeah. Pac-Man, you are, well, well, you're a fan. What's your opinion on uh, Nestra? You saw him at the Build Classic. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. You said fan again. But you didn't include. I'm the not other gonna. Part of I'm that. not gonna call you the top fan every mm-hmm. fucking time. It's just a statement of you're a fan. What's your opinion on that? Why does this got to be more than what it is? Just move I'll on get, and answer the right, question. All right, I'll give you what Don't you want me. this time. Um, but there's always a case. Any extra? <laughs> How do you want to go about this, sir? He's a talented dude. Attitude, but solid fucking dude. Yeah, and then speaking of another dipshit, Hans Carden. Look at these fucking segways. Look at these fucking segways. Crushing the, it. And um, he's the I forgot the nickname, but it involves crabs. Herpes? No, it, it's crabs. Oh, like like actual crustaceans. <laughs> Sorry, talking about uh, yeah, fucking a little, well, because his one, I guess eyes his, now. His finisher is the um, one-legged crab or whatever the fuck. Single leg crab. Single leg crab. That's what it is. Yeah. And he, he talking about giving people crabs, and he yeah. and he thought he was going to give Marche rocket crabs, but instead Marche, um, I should whisper when I say this, is behind the referee's back. Oh God! Thank Marche. God, dude. I thought you were going to start dropping some fucking words that we're not allowed to say here. <laughs> Whoa. Mar- 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 Marche Rocket behind the referee's back. Shh. Gave Hans Carden the M80 and won the match. Ooh, that's a bad fucking move. You know what? If the president didn't acknowledge it and didn't do anything about it, it didn't happen. And the referee didn't see it either. So That's right. That's and you right. think I'm gonna I'm gonna step in and get somebody in trouble? That's right, you're not a referee. No. no. I'm not even in charge. Fuck no. I, I was the bell ringer and timekeeper, so I didn't have to step in. That's right. So the winner was Marche Rocket by pinning Hans Card. And that was CSW Academy Upstart. Nice. Pac, do you want to share anything? Want to talk about uh, any shows? 
I want to talk about the heir to the super wrestlers, mm. which took place. Uh, that would have been last Sunday, correct? The would have been last Sunday, yeah, a week a week ago. The yeah. ninth. Yeah. 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 So, it happened last Sunday. That it yeah. did. Yeah. That's when you uh, need your brother in the genitals to retain the, uh, uh, the piece of plastic on your fucking shoulder. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to make this whole thing all about me. I want to talk about what happened at the show. Yeah, I would. So, Ryor, at the start of the show, interrupted Billy of the Whack to bring out his brother, Rydal. Rydal came out with General Luxon and Callus, who have all made a pact. Uh, Ryor will face Luxon and Callus in a two-on-one handicap match. If Ryor wins, Luxon and Callus are banned, and Ryor will get a shot at Rydal's prize after the match. Ryor won with a steed clutch to Luxon. Pubic Moose came out for his hot potato title defense. And CM Venom came out to say that the original challenger from Norway couldn't make it. But in his place, Shogun came out. And throughout this whole thing, Cubic Moose left the ring and Shogun kept trying to get him to come back so they could fight. Siphon, a new presence in the Super Wrestlers world, comes out. And whatever entity gave Shogun his powers had his eyes on Shogun because those powers were actually meant for Siphon. And Siphon wants his power. Now, Siphon was willing to make Shogun his right-hand man if he were to give his strength to Siphon, but Shogun responded by flipping him off. Despite this, Siphon was able to overpower Shogun and hits him with a super kick as Pubic Moose watches from ringside. So even with the beatdown by Siphon before the match, Shogun won and the pubic moose retains his hot potato championship. Now, for those who are unfamiliar with the hot potato championship, the only way to win the hot potato championship is by losing. And what I mean by that is that the worst super wrestler is who is pubic moose statistically is the hot potato championship in order for him to lose the title. He must win a match. And since he did not win this match, he is still the hot potato champion. We also had red black, black, uh, red black beard, the porch pirate interrupting Billy whack to say how difficult it's been to deliver a package in the daylight after getting bitten by Vlad bladder. After intermission, Vlad Bladder comes out, and Rad, who stuck around during intermission, had some questions for Vlad. And the one big question that Rad had for Vlad was for them to potentially team up, given their powers. And a vampire's chant. Hold on. Yep. Hold on. I'm, all right. Rad had for Vlad. Fucking hilarious. Sorry. Oh yeah, go ahead. And, <laughs> go and I, sh- I and fucking I, hear that shit. I'm like, <laughs> perfect. And I sh- and I and I should add as well that Vlad Bladder is now a teenage werewolf, not a vampire. I I saw that. Uh, I think it was in your vlog. That is a uh, is a um, ring. Uh, I don't know what they call it, there, but I I always call it a time tron, but whatever. Uh, it said teenage werewolf thing. Yeah, because. What vampire? He was been by a werewolf. Now he's a werewolf thing. Where the fuck it is? So his powers transformed in between one of the shows uh, to the werewolf, and he's been slowly transforming into a werewolf from the vampire. But there was a huge chant for them to go as the vampires. 
and they though he was a vampire when he did bite red black beard so he's not not a vampire now so to be called the vampires would make no sense he's a werewolf well he's a vampire and a pirate so he's a vampire but also Vlad Bladder so vamp so Vlad Bladder who was a vampire when he bit uh red black beard uh, was a vampire at that point. Ergo, vampires might be a thing. Gotcha. But we might see, we're going to see if that's going to happen because uh, Ra- Vlad Bladder had to face Danger Mask. Now, Rad did help uh, Vlad at some point. Uh, Danger Mask was unmasked, but it was revealed that Danger Mask had was ready for that uh, possibility and had another mask underneath his mask. But Red Blackbeard wound up taking the mask and taunting uh, Danger Mask with it, which distracted Danger Mask enough to for Vlad Bladder to capitalize and Vlad Bladder won with help from uh, Rad Blackbeard and the vampires are officially born. We then had USA Hole versus Delay Mignon, who has become. What the fuck am I listening to? Right Delay Mignon. I'm going to send you his theme song. And even if you're just a mouth breathing fan, even mouth breathing fans and top fans can get behind the fact that Delay Me Mignon's theme is catchy as fuck. And if you want to listen to some of the Super Wrestlers themes, they are all available on Spotify and YouTube Music. So you have to definitely worth your while to check out Delay Mignon's theme because it is an earworm and it was stuck in my head the entire ride back. Now, neither here nor there, what happened during that match, you might ask? Well, let me tell you, because reviews popped up in the middle of the match, and they were negative reviews for Delay Mignon's cooking. The reviews distract Delay, and... U.S. A-Hole was able to capitalize and win. Then we had another intermission. And then we had Destructo facing Nolan the fucking wizard. A match which I said a couple of weeks ago would definitely get Travis T's attention. And uh, it got I mean, mine. In another universe it probably would have. In another universe it would have. Um, I'm, I'm, realistically, I've never seen either of these two ever fucking wrestle. So that is that is a fair point. That is fair. Now, this is a match that also got my attention because Nolan the fucking wizard came out with a potion and offered it to the crowd. And the person that he wound up offering said potion to was the top fan. Nolan recognizes when a, a top fan when he sees one. In top fans take potions from wizards without questioning it. Yeah, yeah. And long as story a, a short, fan, because of some of the after effects... Be a fucking follower, yeah. No, and, and, long, and long story short, while there were some good things with it, there were a lot of side effects to the potion. That's why I missed Power Hour last week, but I will be back this week when we have Pauly Tomaselli on. That's right. You, uh, you, you honor your commitments as a top fan, but you missed... The fucking power hour like a fan. I'm going to ignore that comment for now because I have all these results. Why? I because you got no comeback for it? Because yeah. I got, I, I, I'm almost oh, done with I drink results. A, I drink a potion. I couldn't be on the power hour, but I honor my commitments. But, but this but, match, but. throughout this match, I was yelled at by Madam Shatter and Destructo for taking the potion. But Nolan was able to win the match. But I should actually say that we had Jordan Cross and Rydal in the main event. And Ryo earlier in the night did win his match. 
and was getting ready with Jordan Cross for that possibility to uh, fight each other. But Ryor was impaled by Ry Dahl and his, like, knife claws. I don't exactly remember the exact name of them, but he was impaled backstage and was laid, left dying in Jordan's arms. I'm sorry, you're telling me that there was a murder in there Chicago? Was, there was a murder, yeah. in, which I know is, <laughs> is really shocking. <laughs> Big that never surprise. happens there. That never happens there. Never like, in Chicago. Like <laughs> I never heard that. It's like one of the safest places ever. You tell me somebody got stabbed in Chicago and was left for dead? What? Oh. No. Oh. That happened. God. I know. And it's it's I think it's the first time in like five minutes that that happens in Chicago. <laughs> what fucking week. Um I did uh because Cross, that was the kid that was on the power hour last week. Right. Uh, I remember them talking about it, and uh, I, I clearly, for those who know how wrestling works, it's really fun cool how they're performing their fucking shows. Um, and the fact that I, it didn't click in my head until I listened to The Power last week, but, like... The, the name of the shows is, like, the name of the company. Like, the company's not called Super Wrestlers. It's whatever the show name is. And like, the next one, what was the next one called? Uh, they didn't give a name for it, but it is September 15th. And I already got my tickets because top fans get their $15 uh, discounted tickets early. Yeah, anyone who goes to the show could, yeah. Yeah, so any fan could fucking do that. So calm yourself. But top fans did it. Not five minutes after he pulled out of the parking lot. Did you spend the money that you took out Danny's wallet when you stole his wallet from him? I'm going to address his wallet on the show. I'm, I'm not going to say, confirm or deny whether or not I took any money out. You're just, like I said, you're going to have to watch part two of the season premiere of our podcast to find out if I took any money. I mean, I, you, you can say what you want. I believe you did. So Shady people do shady things. Speaking of shady Damn people boy. doing shady things, why aren't we? We're burying the lead on Rydal, who is the prize holder, murdering his brother in the safest city of Chicago. Right? Yeah. You got fucking kind of little hits home, duh, doesn't it? He murders his brother. You need yours in the genitals and shit. So we had Jordan Cross versus Rydal for the prize. And Rydal, uh, or Jordan Cross, I should say kept diving into the crowd at Rydal after the start of the match. Would not let Rydal get any offenses because he was, you know, a house of, a house of fire watching well, yeah, his he's, friend he's, get he's, murdered. Hey, seven into a ring with a murderer. I mean, well, yeah, I'd be a little aggressive about it too. So the ref was losing control throughout the match because Jordan Cross's anger was starting to get the better of him. And Rydal was able to retain. After the match, Ryor's music plays, followed by a black screen that says Ryor, R-I-P. And that was Heir to the Super Wrestlers. What a, what a fucked up Sunday that was to see one brother completely stab the other brother in the fucking back. Right. Like, Just to who, hold on who to who does? Fighting. Here's the thing. Who does that? Fucking fans. Who do fucking that? does that? I was talking about what were you talking about? I was talking about you. Those are dumbass. Two... <laughs> yeah, fucking. <laughs> what were I talking about? You. You fucking. Those are two... No, I think we're talking. <laughs> you about... I think. I, I think we're talking about two different things. I didn't murder Danny. I'm no, not. Just, this ain't I, this ain't like. Might as well have. It's not a Cain and Abel thing. I just took his wallet and I kicked him in the dick. Fuck, if I That's got different. Needed, I didn't fucking murder him. If I got kneed in the dick by a dude in jorts and sandals, I'd want to die too. Thank you, Bobby Hildum. That's my purse. And then fucking checked him in the junk. Coward. Isn't there, isn't there an SCW? Is, is, is wasn't there an SCW you, show you during that, that weekend? You, fuck, yeah, you, you look over here. Don't fucking look over there, you fucking coward. Wasn't there an SCW show? There was an SCW well? show. There's an ARW show. There's there's still more we got to talk about, man. Calm down. It's only 58 minutes in. 
Settle yourself, fanboy. God. Damn. Damn. Yeah, right? God. Fucking dude gets a little hair and his peaches. He assumes he can fucking act a different way. Not to Travis, bro. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Oh, God. Anyways, um, W, what other shows you want to talk about? Want to talk about uh, AOW and SCW? Is there anything else? Uh, we got front, front line as well. Let's do front line next. Uh, front line happened my, uh, yesterday. Yeah, let's do that um, one. Let's, get, let's talk about that okay. one. Well, because I, the thing is, I don't remember hearing anything about front line because I assumed, I, maybe I missed it. Like, maybe I, I, I might have missed that part. But did Steve talk about front line on uh, the Power Hour last Tuesday? So he didn't. And actually, there's a reason why he didn't do it this time. Um, he actually was technically suspended from last night's show. Because of some things that happened at the last show between him and Ben McCoy. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, let's, talk about, let's talk about Frontline then. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Because yeah. we can talk about that. Hell yeah, we can. We're not Steve. Yeah. I mean, we, we don't work there. And we didn't yeah. get suspended. So. But no, I don't get sent from anywhere. But we tend to call told the company line sometimes, so we didn't want to mouth off to the owner. That's true. I don't get lippy. I'm not fucking Pac-Man. So, um, battle lines took place last night, and oh, let's hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Pac-Man, what, what's what's around your neck? What do you mean? What's wrong with my neck? Is that a different gem? No, it's the crystal. This, it's the it's the okay. It is the Stone of Prague. Yeah, but why is it darker? It's it's probably because of not. the shirt. It's not. Oh, it, it, it looks plays... fucking. Oh, okay. dude, for some reason I thought that thing was blue. For some reason it looks fucking just, black right here's now. Here's the thing. This is a gift from Chet Gunderson, despite how things are going. I'm still very much loyal to Chet. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not questioning. So I'm making. I'm making sure that's clear because yeah. this was a gift from me from Chet Gunderson. Yeah, no, I'm not questioning the fact that you're wearing it. I'm questioning why it looks different than it. No, for, it honestly looks black to me right now, which is fucking weird. Yeah, it's clashing with the shirt. Oh, okay. And, he, and this, he said is far blue? away. Is it blue? Like, like I, I remember being blue it's or purple or some purple. shit. Purple. It's it's purple like Rocket Pro. Why does it fucking look black? That's so fucking weird. Because anyway, okay. Black or black and blue make purple. And because yeah, it's clashing so. with the black part of the shirt. Okay. I, but, just assume, I just assume it was uh, representing his fucking soul or some shit. It, it might have turned black because of his soul. He's got, right? a, bit of a, he's got a bit of a black heart. D-day, D-day. Yeah, you know, he was all purpley and shit when he was a fucking Rocket Pro fan. Now he's all black and shit because he's just a regular fucking fan. I mean, that makes sense know, to me. And you notice he said he's still loyal to Chet Gunderson. Um, Chet's uh, LIM member, right? That's mm. true. Ooh, did Chet vote? Did Chet vote yes? Not that I'm aware. He, he, I, did, I didn't call the. Uh, I didn't. I didn't call the motion. But regardless, it it was not a unanimous vote. We don't know that. No, it it wasn't. It wasn't a unanimous vote. Apparently, it was a unanimous vote because fake simp, aka fucking Pac Man here. Voted nay or some goofy shit. Hey, I, LIM has the goofiest fucking rules in the world, man. You guys are fucking nutty with your rules and bylaws and shit. I don't understand it. You might as well be undeniable at this point. It, but, pretty, it pretty much is, right? You know? it's God. So, speaking of things. Yes. I almost said undeniable, but uh, the Kid Lat uh, won his match, and he's clearly not undeniable. He's better than that. He defeated he he defeated uh, Lennox Leon. Um, for the battle tested. Wait, yeah, battle tested air assault championship. EJ Swanson defeated Kenny Sutra for the BTW BT. PW tag team titles. It was uh, the Dark Match Ma- Mafia defeating uh, the Ross Dynasty. 
It looks like uh, we have new champions. The Dark Match Mafia. Why didn't I think of that tag team when we were doing that Dark Match Pro? Huh. Dark Match Mafia. Solid name. Yeah. You know, speaking of Dark Match Pro, I mean, I have the title still. Fuck yeah, you do. Another thing, uh, we are now past, uh, I'm going to ignore that a second. Um, you are the battle Royal champion for eight, 1,801 days. See cool. top, top fans keep track of title statistics. Oh yeah. Congrats fanboy. For the, uh, front line pro battle championship. Adonis Allen retained as he defeated Ben Evanson. For the Crusader Championship, it was Will Emery defeating Von Jaeger. For the Tag Team Championship, we the Windy City Devils defeated Power and Money to retain their titles. Muggsy James lost to Shaq Jordan. And then Ben McCoy, the creator, Ben McCoy, retained the world championship as he defeated Nell D- Dillinger. And that was Frontline Pro Battle Lines. Who was the, uh, who's the Leon guy that you mentioned? Lennox Leon? Lennox Leon, okay. Yeah. There's a there's a guy in um, Destination 6 I want to bring to... I want to think about bringing to, uh, to SCW. So his name's Dante Leon. Um, I think he's out of Texas, though, so I'm not sure if that fucking worked or not, but... It's not probably not in your budget. I don't think it is. Which blows my mind, because all these fucking people are bringing all these... Like, I don't know anything about Destination 6. I don't. But if they're fucking booking Larkin on a consistent fucking basis, and I know her fucking price, I'm not saying she's not worth it. It's a lot of fucking money. I don't know if I'm gonna get fucking kicked in the ass because I'm saying this shit on a show or not, but fucking a. Um. Uh, no front front line one. I do want to try making. It's actually not that fucking far. You know, it could be a day trip, but. Maybe I will go see yeah. when he's not suspended anymore. Who fucking knows? Yeah. What about you, fanboy? You gonna go to a fucking front line one day? Someday I will. Top okay. fans will go to top fans because again, you're you gotta. It's not also fanboy because that's that's a nickel. That's a really shitty Nickelodeon show, and and I'm I'm a champion. So I I, I understand that's very easy to confuse clearly, but I am the top fan. I know it's a new thing. I know and, it, and it, you're 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 trying your damnedest. You're not doing great, but you're trying your damnedest. Top fan. Yeah. Pac-Man's and the top and top. the gotcha. top fan will someday make it to Frontline Pro. Sure you will. All right, what happened out at ARW, man? So at ARW. Outdoor event. Again, Out, fucking weather. Out, I I heard the rain was fucking aggressive. And yeah. fucking Chad was there. Gross. He was there. Oh, God. And, you, know, you know who else had fun during that rain? Who's that? Braun the Lumberjack. I saw some videos of him dancing around like a fool. Good for him. Yeah. Sw- and swimming. <laughs> and did, apparently he did the worm from what I saw. So, doing the worm in a pool? That's in, that takes talent. Well, yeah. he is Braun the Lumberjack. He can he do is. anything. He has proved that. He's multi-talented. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, Dave West defeated Isaac Slate. Who? Wait, hold on. What? The fucking workhorse won a match? Yeah. A workhorse won a match. Dave West. So the, uh, oh, yeah. The, the, the Genetti. Yeah, the one that doesn't listen to the show. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Hey, he doesn't listen to the show. I, I... Come on, Dave, do better. Yeah, be a better fan like this one here. 
I mean, you are advertising their shirts. Or, That's right. Or, or merch, so. I have the muffins to show for it. That's right, you do. Those so, so rivers. You're supporting those scalawags. You are supporting uh, a non-listener. Just saying. Yeah. Two out of three ain't bad though. And when it comes to the workhorses, three three out of three are bad. That's right. Well, actually, there's uh, four because isn't plank counts right? Eh. Plank is actually the better one, so he doesn't really count as a workhorse. That's right. He's above being a workhorse. Mm-hmm. He knows to be seen and not heard. Yep. Solid fucking dude. And the one he thing I, I I won't say the line because blueberry muffins are my favorite. So and I knew I knew it's probably him that thought of it. Great guy. What line? Hmm? Well, oh, about him not listening? Yeah. I mean you got to. It's part of the show. Well, it's, it's the muffins, you know. Yeah, come on, fanboy. Fucking say it. Top fans enjoy blueberry muffins. Yeah, go ahead. Clearly, you're a fan They're of the delicious. show. Be a fan They're of delicious. the show. They're covered in shit. He doesn't listen to the show. Say it. Do better. Say I already it. said it. Do better. I'm quoting the fourth mother box guy that doesn't want to fight me. Maybe he's okay. Maybe I'm warming up to Kyle a little bit. I don't know if it's because we get paid by the same place, but I don't know. I've grown accustomed to his face. I've grown yeah. accustomed to the workhorses a little bit. They gave me muffins and cupcakes. Remember when the workhorses jumped, Travis? That's true. That is that did happen, yeah. That's true. That's uh, fine. But it was a different yeah. time, you know. Yeah, it was a different time. Yeah, yeah. Back, uh, okay. back when, yeah, you know, back when Pac-Man was just a fan, and now he's the fan. Oh, you're two thirds of the way there. So we're getting there. Yeah. Good job, Travis. If I if I were close to you, I would give you one of my muffins. I don't want anything from you. I like my wallet where it is. I like my testicles where they're at. You know, I like, you know, like my life the way it is over here. You sit over there in your fucking little bubble with your stupid little shirt. You know. This is being, an amazing shirt. Being, being self-proclaimed. It's an amazing no, shirt. Not, it says it all. It says not. everything you need to know. What does it say? It says A with a diamond, and it's like the flag, and then like on the back, but really b- a little bigger than I was thinking. It says, uh, I'm standing up, uh, the top fan, because that that's me now, um, and the LIM logo, because... Go ahead, Nubby. <laughs> wrong, wrong one, <laughs> Um, so oh, see, I, I, no, now no, the fanboy got fucking muted. That's crazy. It, it's funny how the A is in the diamond. So, does that mean you're an A Nick Diamond fan? Oh, he might be a diamond fan. Yeah, you know, I haven't really thought about it. Um, yeah, I'd have to think about that. Yeah, but thank God, thank you for bastardizing my American flag with your stupid shit. That's cool. But it's 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 a logo. It's 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 the style. Top fans wear CM Punk parody shirts. Yeah, way to be a fan of CM Punk. Way to be a fan of wrestling. A top fan, fan of professional wrestling. Way to be a fan. Fan. Let's go ahead, Nubby. Frontline. Fan. Nubby. We're past frontline. We're on ARW oh. now. AR, AR, fan w. boy. Speaking of ARW, as we're back to it. The Match yeah. Brothers defeated uh, Death Wish to win the finals in that uh, tag team tournament to earn a shot for the ARW tag team titles. After the match, however, Joey Dalton uh, laid waste to Quinn Wittick. So when we thought they were going to be best friends again, this time Joey Dalton turned the tables and turned on Quinn. So maybe the bad blood just wasn't all you know gone yet and joey dalton just didn't forget so he decided to uh turn on quinn this time so this feud ain't over yet between those two so death wish will be put on hold once again 
And speaking a, of a fan, one of our fans of the show, Wade Evans, um, actually uh, did not win this match. I, as I'm remembering, him and Josh Moon ended in a double pin. But unfortunately, after watching the footage, I'm going to have to side with Wade Evans. As much as it makes me want to puke. Shoulder up. Shoulder was up. Yeah, I saw but the footage. It's, it makes me sick. I don't want to admit that. But. See, but, and that's the thing. And fucking fanboy here is a perfect example of it. Like, it doesn't matter how big of a dick you are. And it doesn't matter how fucking full of yourself you really are. To be screwed out of a fucking match is rough. Get it right, the top fan. Yeah, get it right, top fan. Yeah, sounds like you're talking to yourself. Get it right, the top fan. You're That's basically telling, you. you're telling That's yourself you. you're basically, you're telling yourself to get it right. Listen, Chad, use fucking uh, punctuation Wait, and on. shit. Hold on. He's fucking mouth breathers like they shouldn't be calling other people fucking mouth breathers. Yeah. Get it right, the top fan. Yeah, that's right. Get it right, top fan. I'm making it more clear now. Travis, get it right. It's the top fan. I mean, yeah, close. Rax, gotcha. <laughs> uh, you know, but who knows? I mean, I... Fucking Joey's a pretty understanding guy. I mean, we've seen it with the multiple fucking title opportunities Creed's got. I'm sure if um, Evans wanted a rematch, he might be able to get one, especially with the uh, dispute on the finish. Yeah. It, it just sucks that I had to admit that. Because I like, don't, you're a better I man. Don't like jo- I don't like Josh Moon, but gotta be fair, right? It's better to be fair, yeah. It sucks. But you know what doesn't suck? Muggsy James retaining his Indiana State Championship over Desile. That doesn't suck. That had to have been fucking close to be a match of the night. I, I say, I say, it, so, yeah. it had to it be. Had to be. Um, but and that's another thing too. Is like when you think about it, like, cause, and obviously I know like a lot of people are like, oh, when you're in the ARW, it's ARW. You don't see other shit. But in reality, fucking Muggsy just retained his championship over the heavyweight champion of another fucking company, right? So people need to take that shit into account. Like, Kazayo is a fucking pal heavyweight champion. So the fact that Muggsy got a victory over him is fucking amazing. You know, good for him. It is. Now, I'm not a big fan of him punching Sarah in the mouth, but hey, whatever. You know, but good for him. Good, good on his title defense, man. He, I mean, he worked hard to fucking hold up to win that title. So I'm yeah, sure he's going to do what he can to retain it, man. Now, take notes, Pax. You know, look at actual champions that have some dignity in their title defenses. You know, speaking of more good Four things. title defenses successfully done. Danny had none. Gabagool didn't have any when he was when he made himself the inaugural LIM champion. Mm-hmm. I actually defend it because top fans actually defend the LIM beer drinking championship. Yeah, but how much pride is there in defending a title you never technically won? It's kind of handed to you. It's a lot of pride with being the flag bearer. It's a lot of work. Is it? It doesn't seem like do it, it doesn't seem like a lot of work. Do it. I mean, when you fucking defended against Simp, you had what two beers? When you defended against Double J, you had what two beers? When you defended against Dan, you had a beer. So not really a lot of work goes into your tile defenses when you collectively had no more than though, ten though beers. Though it is interesting with a Danny defense. It was one beers to zero, but what's my record in professional wrestling? One and zero. I didn't think about that coincidence. So, Travis, thanks for bringing that up. So, really, Mr. 1 and 0 has a double meaning now. Yeah, thanks, you Travis. Had, you had one beer. I don't understand this idea of, like, I had 
I very like these were challenging tile defenses because they weren't. I was sweating, man. Through well, all of them. It's probably because you eat a lot of meat and shit, and there's probably meat sweats. I mean, I do like me a good steak. I will, I will, you know, I, I will, I will give you that. Some steaks today. It was delicious. In fact, but I'm not sweating. I'm not sweating any of this because I'm still the LIM champion. There you are. You that cheated. I am. You haven't had an honest fucking towel defense, but yeah. I did That's what true. I I did what I needed to do, and it'll I think it'll That's all right. make sense. A win, a win is a win. That's right, man. And yeah, your fake broken down cars, your fake stolen wallets. No, that was legit. You fought a, you fought legit. a sober dude. Sure, yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. That's, That's right. That yeah. that is legit. Well, me... if, if if you've proven anything, you're an honest fucking person. That's for sure. And going with um, that, yeah. everything that um, I'm gonna yeah, say, yeah. everything that I'm gonna say in part two of the podcast is true. Sure. I don't tell any it's... lies. I won't it's... tell any lies. It's gonna be. I, I feel like there's gonna be aspects of it where it's gonna be controversial, even. Within wrestling, outside of wrestling, I had a lot of things that I needed to get off my chest. And I did so. And I feel fucking amazing for the fact that I got to finally say what I've been thinking about everything going on this whole time. So if you want to hear what I have to say... Watch the podcast. Part That's two right. If this you want to hear what he has to say, listen to his podcast. You're going to get nothing but the truth. So you help nothing me. Nothing but him talking about him. So help me. So help him. Speaking still of still have this for a meeting. For a reason. Speaking of nothing but the truth. Eric Schultz lost. To Brendan Balling. So that was a good good thing. Good day. <laughs> Put a smile on your face to nothing. It did. Uh, Machine defeated Angus McDuff. Yeah, that was a that was a match that we talked about. It's kinda cool. I was like kinda impromptu that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um the family. Retain their tag team titles over Angel de, de la Sombra. And now this is what I am reading here. Hot dog, Daddy Andy. I mean, maybe. I love it. I love it. I love it. Fuck yeah. I love it. If I know Pac, when I get no Pac, man, he loved Daddy Andy's hot dog. Another LIM member. Is he going to vote? The first LIM member that is a wrestler. I don't know. I, I really don't know who got the votes and who didn't. I'm not the one that organized Operation Crazy yeah. Rock. So. I mean, who knows? But it's whatever, it is, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. He read happen. another member. Yeah, yeah. Did Bill Shelley vote? Fucking might... Captain Dave, that security guard? Well, fucking Gunderson's daughter. Hey, I'm not the one Johnny that organized. Nye? I'm not the one that organized that vote. Flash Harris. Not the one that organized that vote. I mean, I mean, it seemed kind of haphazard the way that it was going about. I'm not gonna lie. So I can't speak to whatever happened while I was dealing with the potion issues. Is that what you're doing? You're blaming the fucking potion cell? It, it was the potion. That's legit. That's why I didn't post anything. It wasn't because I didn't have anything to say. Because I had a lot to say. But that potion really messed me up, man. I'll tell you this. The potion didn't cause this. Because after that tag team title match, the Mash Brothers came out and stared down the tag team champions, the family, and they ended up brawling. So they're ready to face each other. Well, well, the Match Bros are the ones that won that title tournament, right? Yep. Yeah. 
Then um, your boy, Judas Chavez. Oh, not Mason Inter- Perks. Okay. Not, not my boy. <laughs> he's, not my, he's not my boy, bro. He interrupted the show to call out Greg Glover as for uh, Joey Boom Boom to come out and to talk with Judas. And he actually made the match for next month, as it will be Judas Chavez taking on Greg Glover. But they still haven't heard from Greg Glover at this point. So even though the match is made, did he accept yet? When was the last time Glover was at ARW? I assume the last time he was there was when, actually, that dipshit of a dumbass piece of shit. Not the not that guy. Oh, different um, dipshit. Yeah, yeah, different dipshit. Um, different different he, fan. Yeah, he might as well be a fan. <laughs> he, he looks like a twelve year old boy. Uh, Donovan Mar- Marcel- Marcellus oh, um, yes. kicked him in the nuts. I believe that was the last time Greg Glover was in the house. I believe. I could be wrong, and if yeah. someone can tell me if I'm wrong, let what me know. Pussy, what kind of pussy hits somebody in the nuts? Ah. Ah. Yeah, that's cheap. Yeah. Like an action of a true fan. Then I mean Donovan is a fan. He's, he's like twelve years old and mm-hmm. um likes to fat shame people still. Right. Well, you know, when you when when you're a fanboy like Donovan and oh you know, family Pac Man and you give somebody a little bit of fucking, you know, so you know, like let's let's just let's let's just give them a little bit of fucking power. Let them do a little bit, and they're like, well, you know, here I am, just a fan, sitting at Rocket Pro Wrestling, running the LIM, being a great fan of the show, a great fan of the business, a great fan of Maximus Orion, and top fan. That's the same thing, top. idiot. And all of a sudden, you fucking hire him to do back backstage stuff. You start allowing him to come out with Chuck Gunderson at shows. You stick him in a match with Johnny and I and C Red. And all of a sudden, their little fan heads start growing like the heart of the Grinch. And then this is what you get now. You get some dorky ass fucking kid with his own fucking shirt hanging on to a belt like it's his fucking lifeline. When deep down, he's just gonna be the second row fucking Rocket Pro fan. And there's nothing wrong with that. I've said it before. You are a great fan. You don't got to be anything more than that. Donovan Harbor sucks. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then in the main event, it was Dave looking, Allen. Wait, 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 why do you keep looking around? Look at the fucking Well, camera. What was the main event? What was the main event, Nubby? You really want to know? Yeah, I do. Okay. In the main event, Dave Allen shocked the world as he became the new ARW heavyweight champion by defeating Nick Diamond and James Creed in a triple threat match. So Chad went home partially happy Hmm. because Diamond lost the title, but James Creed didn't win it. So then will it be James Creed next month? Again, probably. I don't know. But probably, then after, probably Creed versus Allen, yeah. And then after that, the match, uh, Nick Diamond uh, kicked Joey Boom Boom. So I think Joey Boom Boom should fire Nick Diamond. I don't think so, man. Well, he kicked the owner. You don't kick the owner. Okay, he should be suspended. Fined, suspended, yes, but yeah, no firing them in the command of men. I mean, and he should not get a rematch for his title. For that, see, I, pun- I, I believe punishment should be handed out, suspensions, fines, revocation of title shots. I am uh, firing. I think would be a little bit too extreme, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a, yeah, it's I a think little it's aggressive. Yeah, it is a bit aggressive. I, I had a bit of a moment of aggressiveness. The, the show yeah, you, you, you yelled at me. You yelled at me about being up fucking uh, uh, Angel's ass and shit because you lost your match. You know, sometimes you people just, uh, you know, they, they get in their feels and they do things they regret. So, so, I mean, look at fucking, look at the fucking fanboy uh, right here, you know, fucking 
kicking fucking siblings and genitals because he was too afraid to lose his fucking belt to, uh, you know, an Ackerman who could fucking drink. So what happened at SCW, Travis? I don't know. I wasn't fucking there. Actually, I can fucking guess. Hold on a second. Um, well, Nubby opened up the show. Nubby took on Apex. I did. Uh, uh, what, what did you have? WrestleMania-type entrance? Explain I did. that. Explain that. Why golf carts? What, what was going on with that? So, um, and it wasn't just me, obviously. I wasn't that <laughs> special. But I think I had a good color one. I think I had the red one. So, um, we all got to ride in golf. In our golf carts because the ent- uh, dressing room was pretty far away from the the ring, and the ring was outside, outside, it, not, it was underneath, outside. not underneath a tent, like no. outside, outside. Yeah, it was outside. So, well, needless to say, I was a little burnt. Yeah, a little, little uh, turtle roasted, a little roasted turtle. A little, a little. I guess you could say that. Who who did commentary with uh, with Chris? I don't know. I don't even know where commentary was. I saw it in the back. I saw it in the pictures. I saw the pictures posted on Apex's uh, Facebook page. And I saw him sitting back there in his Hawaiian shirt and uh, straw hat. And I saw a dude with a camera next to him. I just didn't know uh, somebody to commentary with him and shit. Uh, I figured they were not going to, but I yeah. guess they did. I didn't know until that picture. And I think that was the day after the show. So, Yeah, I well, I... If I knew they were going to do commentary for the show, like I was initially told they weren't, I probably wouldn't have made other plans for that day. So, but uh, I know you face Apex, and Apex picked up the victory. Yeah, he had a handful of shell, though. But, yeah. but you know, it happens. But then after the match, you know, I'm in the middle, you know, trying to get the referee to see what is wrong. And all of a sudden, I get turned around, and Apex was about to tear, tear my shoulder out. Like he did the Johnny Chaos, but because I saw what happened to Johnny Chaos, I was a little prepared, and I made sure it didn't happen. And I gave Apex a stunner, and he went out of the ring, and then he ran like a little bitch. And I was standing tall, laughing at him, watching him run. But then I I did go run after him, but yeah. I obviously because I'm a turtle, I I'm not that fast, so I didn't really make it. And then I waited. <laughs> And then I waited the for golf the cart. Yeah, they were on there. I heard them coming. I'm like, all right, I'm you gonna wait. Thumb out, wait for a fucking lift. Follow pretty that much. man. Fuck yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Almost, you're, you're pretty close to that. Who, um, who, who was the ref? Um, New, Matt. New Matt yeah. was the referee. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Um, I know Amazon made her in-ring return uh, against uh, was a lovely Lucia. I think was her opponent. Yep. How was that? That match was brutal. Yeah. From what I heard, it, there was chairs involved. Um, there might have been a bale of hay involved. Who won? Amazon? Amazon took the victory. Uh, what else was there? Um, VJ a- Price defeated both Eric Schultz and Matt Dewar. So he'll be the first entrant into the call shot ladder match. Good for him. Good for fucking him. Um, well, I know, I know the main event, but what was your, what was there other than the main event? Or was that it? Uh, the team of Lunatic and Otis and the That's Berserker right. yeah. defeated defeated uh, punitive uh, genitals. Yeah. So, despite my loss, it was still a good day because punitive damage is lost all day. And not to be confused with Marche. But then, yeah, the main event happened, and it was very confusing. Yeah. Well, it was initially, what, it was supposed to be a Creed versus Allen for the SCW title. It ended up yep. being a tag match with Hunter and Creed versus uh, Terry and Apex. Yeah, I guess it started with Apex. All of a sudden, he showed up. It felt, he felt like he was entitled. Mr. Top of the Food Chain, as he called himself. Yeah, the the top guy. Yeah, the top guy. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The top guy needs to cheat against little old turtle, you know. Oh, you know, there's a lot of top guys who feel they need to cheat to fucking get ahead. There's one yeah, on this not, fucking. There's one on this fucking podcast right now. Like, yeah. The why like, I have, but I still have this to show that I am dominant. That's right. Where you go, fanboy. Um. 
I, I didn't I didn't watch. I mean, I've only saw clips. It hasn't been released on YouTube yet. Uh, it looked like Hunter was getting ready to finish it. Creed tagged himself in, jumped over uh, Hunter for the elbow drop. He didn't yeah. really he didn't really jump over him. He kind of uh, what the fuck is that thing called in Trek? Hurdles. Hurdle. He it hurdled. Was a bit of a, it was a bit of a hurdle. I yeah. guess you could say. Uh, but they put Victor by. I guess the title shot's gonna happen next month now. As far as I am aware, um, uh, as I read through this, um, yes, it will be. It will be James Creed against Terry Allen for the heavyweight championship at uh, Star Spangled Beatdown on July 27th. And when uh, CW's back at uh, Shabance. Shabance, baby. Yeah, they're... Um... I've had a few meetings with uh, the SCW board because we're trying to figure out how to move forward after the uh, Freiburg incident. Hmm. Um, I have a suggestion. Uh, it's just it's it's kind of a litigation thing now, so we're trying to figure out if it's going to be just a. Sh- <sighs> There's going to be a punishment, and. There's an issue with my punishment being too severe. Now, you're allowed to talk about this, right? I'm allowed to talk about that. It's not, it's not an NDA thing. So what I want is I want to strip him of the title and make a tournament. I think what he did was ridiculous, unnecessary. And the fact that there was damage to property, I think, justifies a lot of me stripping him of the title, creating a tournament and everything. I know I, I will be fair and put him in the tournament, but there'd be a tournament. Um he wants Schultz to pay for the fucking belt. He's high. <laughs> and the board of directors wants to straight up just find him. But I don't think finding him is enough. So hopefully by the next SCW show, all this will kind of be figured out and settled and everything. And I know he's all up in arms about, you know, threatening of lawsuits if he gets stripped of the title and everything. But... As far as I know, and I'm not a lawyer, maybe there's one available to me now I could look through, but I think I have a justification stripping him of the title. I don't have stupid workarounds like, you know, fucking Crazy Rock uh, plans or whatever the fuck they're called uh, and shit like that where, you know, I got to get a unanimous decision the night of, you know, and, you know. And it failed. It failed. Of course it failed. It, it sounds like it was designed to fail, man. It failed. Because here I am still. Yeah. Now I am beer drinking champion. As yeah. I mentioned. Yeah. Something you're... I'm very proud of, in fact. You should be proud. I'm sure your parents are proud. And I'm sure your friends are proud. I'm sure everyone's proud of the shady shit that you did. But that's on you, man. And that's shit you got to live with. Yeah, but... My issues aren't with them. They can believe what they want, but... What again, do you mean, why do you keep thinking this whole, like, you know, you're going to go onto your show on Wednesday and be able to justify any of the shit that you did? Because I I can. I can you straight can't. up justify that's, that's the thing, it. Is like, you can't, man. You, you faced a guy who doesn't fucking drink, which makes no fucking sense. You stole the wallet of your fucking brother so he couldn't buy beer... Which is the purpose of the fucking title defense. Just so you can fucking hold on to the title then. And then you you had to have Double J be your fucking driver to and from the show. Knowing that he has a very extended length of driving. To where he couldn't consume enough alcohol to beat you. So, so now one of these fucking title opportunities or title defenses. Were straightforward honest title defenses. Now I challenge you to a title defense. But lo and behold out of fucking nowhere. He can only defend the title against another LIM member, which well, I that was ne- the same thing. Which, that, I, I never uh, heard. I never heard that that was a real no. thing until I made hold that. Hold on, title. hold on. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was also Tom yeah. actually challenged before you did, and that was already established. I mean, Tom, Tom challenged before I did. Tom challenged me in his response to my diss track. I challenged you before before the Motherbox even started talking about us. Well. 
You don't remember uh, that when I said that I could drink all of you under the fucking table? Well, you did. You did say double, that. And then Double J tried to make a fat joke to me about not being able to fit underneath the fucking table. See, and yet when the, I see those guys I are, see here, here's the thing, Travis. I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you. I'm gonna sympathize with you. Fat jokes are cheap. I agree. Come on, Double Double J, do better. Oh, I'm over it. I get that he was trying to fucking do something. It didn't fucking work. But the fact that I didn't hear anything about this, well, I can't defend an LAM title unless it's an LAM member. Never heard of anything about that until that challenge was made. Whatever. Way to just pull fucking thing. But then all of a sudden, like, well, we're not inducting any more people into the LAM. And then you inducted, like, seven more fucking people into the LAM. Oh, and now there's this crazy rock fucking thing. Where it's like, now we can strip a title away from somebody because of lack of confidence. Don't put your fucking finger down. Wait, wait, wait. No, actually, just, just actually, hold up, hold fan boy. I'm not fucking done yet. You know, and then you have this crazy rock thing where people are like, well, we could all vote unanimous. Like, the same thing with Freak Nest Studios. Well, it has to be a unanimous vote, but two people have yet to fucking vote. And then finally you get to one, and the other person's like, oh, I don't care either way. Oh, well, it's not unanimous. They just, now it's not counted, but now you're part of Freak Nest Studios. We don't get me wrong. I love the fact that I love the Toxic Men are now part of Freak Nest Studios. But now the same stupid, goofy shit with this crazy rock fucking thing. And it's like, well, we need a unanimous vote. But you have to do it within a time frame. But you only ask, like, six people. Hey, again, I'm not the one that put that all together. I'm also finding proof that, that that's been long established within LIM that that is a thing. And I believe that started under uh, Danny's title reign. Danny was champion when I made the challenge, yeah. That is that is true. Yes. Yeah. Before they before they handed you an undeserving fucking championship, I, I said I, fucking, I think I deserved it. Of course I you think did. I did. Of course you did. You know, yeah, because you were a fan living your fucking dream of being a wrestler in the ring. Congratulations. Oh wait, no, I do not have that text. June fifteenth. Okay. I'm I'm gonna keep looking because I'm gonna show you that this has been long established. That's a long established rule within LIM that that is clearly uh, the way by which a person can defend. No, which is fine. LIM if it if it has always been a rule, then so be it. But the problem is, is when I made the challenge and you went onto LIM and told everyone about the challenge, the idea of that rule never came up. It was just a brag for all with all you guys saying, like, I could beat him. Oh, I could beat him. Not once did somebody say, well, unfortunately, he's not an LIM member, so we can't defend it. Well, here's the thing. That was shortly after the vote that we had to potentially induct you if you so chose. Because we did have that vote. So, technically, we would have inducted you. This in was you way before that. Because you voted for me for like October or November of last year, which I didn't hear about until two months ago. But again, whatever. However you guys work your fucking shit. So if you are a... Oh, here we go. Rules are simple. If you are a main member of the LIM, you are eligible to be contender for the title. Define define a main member. What's a main member? Compared to any other member. A main member... Technically, that that's where it gets a little dicey, because that is true. We've never actually had a title defense against another wrestler or staff member of Rocker Pro Wrestling, so we have not. That has not been something that's been discussed, but clearly that's something that I'm going to have and boy, to think of. answer the question. Well, what was the question? What defines a main member? I just answered your question. No, you didn't. He said, we never had it against a staff member of LIM. Is Nubby a main member? I'm just saying it's been untested. I'm just talking generally it's been untested. Shouldn't the that ones that mean? were uh, uh, inducted can be considered main member? You know, and, it, the, and that's where I think it gets a little dicey. This seems like a question for the leader, the acting leader of LIM. All right. The guy, yeah. the guy, the guy who 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 made a call to Danny, bless his fucking heart. 
and decided to maybe maybe regain control of the LIN. The well, guy he, who the guy who put out the season premiere of the lovely intoxicated men because Pac-Man was too busy in his own little fucking fandom to fucking do the podcast. So the guy who called for the crazy rock fucking vote. Maybe this is a question I should ask him because it seems like he has a better understanding. I can give you Russell league results because I do have those. You have Russell league results. I do. Fuck yeah, fanboy. Let's hear it. All right. So we have Russell League, which took place this past Thursday at Lincoln Hall. Uh, we had to start a battle royal that was won by Bugs Moran after a game of rock, paper, scissors with the Bro Bros. We then had a six man scramble with Tully Bro. Oh, hold, hold on. What? So there was a game of rock, paper, scissors. Bro yeah. Bros left the ring. Did they lose their fucking IPW titles through a truth or, or a fucking like a truth or dare? They did. Yeah. Yep. The fucking bro bros. God damn it. We God then damn. had a we then had a six man scramble between Telly Bertarelli, Shaq Jordan, Lennox Leone, J.R. Lindsay, Ewok, and Trick Davis, which Shaq Jordan won. Uh, Ravi defeated Jesus Desafio with distraction by the Caribbean cartel. After the match, Caribbean cartel tells the Safio to join them or he will be getting his ass beat every time they cross paths. After this, Jordan Joseph Von Jaeger defeated DJ to retain the urban honored crown. Following this, Team 3B, Bugs Moran and the Bro Bros, dressed up like the Dudleys, defeated... Manchus Mayhem, Jay Vanity, and Pac-Man, which is not me, by the way. So I can make that clear. There is a wrestler named Pac-Man in Wrestle League, but it is not me. When, uh, when did this Pac-Man start fucking wrestling? That I'm unsure of. But it is not me. I'll tell you right now, though, if he didn't fucking start wrestling more than a year ago... Fuck, I'm going to have to have a talk with Russell League. But it's a six-man tornado tag elimination match in Team 3B1. We then had Thunder and Lightning Kidlet and Adrian Adonis defeating Motivation Mike and Joey Mack. Lulu LaRena defeated Nikki Rebel, Brittany Kay, and Maya Karras to retain the Women's Championship. After this, we had Pestilence defeating Shogun Chris Logan and Don Capri with outside interference from Shaq Jordan to retain the tag team titles. After the match, Shaq Jordan goes after Shogun for defeating him at the anniversary show. Uh, Quinn Wittig defeated He Ho El Enigma. We then had Humek defeat Alfredo Malice by disqualification. After the Caribbean cartel break up the pin, and gets Alfredo disqualified. Alfredo does keep the title, but during the beatdown, Jesus DeSafio comes in for the save, but turns on Humek and reluctantly joins the Caribbean cartel. And that was Wrestle League's Lincoln Hall show. I do not have a date for their next show. Any other match cards? I believe that's it. Anything else wrestling related? You know what? I do have something wrestling related, Travis. Um, Go ahead, ahead, fanboy. All right. And that's where I was going with that. So I'm glad you said it. This whole entire show, I've done nothing but sit here. And as you've called me top fan or not the top fan call me fanboy just call me fan but remember the difference between myself and a fan is i'm not a mouth breather i I I breathe through my nose i know how breathing works i'm very intelligent when it comes to how breathing works i I don't know how you can't 
break the difference between a mouth breather and a top fan. So, Travis, here's what I want you to do right now, okay? For me, right now. Yeah, yeah. Any, right. Anything for you, fanboy. I want you to, first of all, stop calling me that. Sure. And two, I, I want you to say it with me. The. The. Top. Top. Fan. Pan. Put it all together. It's hot pan. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? No, seriously. Are you kidding me? Nubby. Nubby. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nubby. What's up? The top fan. The top of the fan. Top of the fan. Yo, you mean ceiling fan? No, no, no. no. The here, fucking here, ceiling here's fan. The thing. Here's the thing. This whole entire show. Here's the thing. Hey. Dude, listen. It's, it's fine if you want to refer to yourself as a fucking. Uh, top I'm on fan. top of the fan. There you go. Look at that. Fucking, he's on top of a fan. He's just like you now, Pax. It's my only fan. So disrespectful. Ah, this. this is. This this is, is yeah. You can this subscribe is, for free. It's this okay. is so, dis- so disrespectful. For everything. I'm sorry. That, you, you fucking need your brother in the genitals. Do you want to talk about respect? Yeah, because I believe I'm deserved respect for everything that for I what? have done. For what? For what have you for retaining for this title, for defending the fans oh, when God. there were wrestlers coming after us? I haven't gotten the respect for that. And this whole show, you've been laughing and joking, and we've had laughs and jokes before, but this feels very personal to me. So here's this. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm done with this show, and. Before I go, I want one. Th- I want to say one fucking thing. Respect the champion. Respect the top fan. Did he just really leave? <laughs> fucking what a god! What a what a fucking baby! I don't know, man. Like it, it's. I don't know what happened between now and what happened at the end of Kicks on 66. I thought I was going to be thrown off the deep end after losing my general manager's position. But I feel like I've still been normal. I don't know what's going on with this guy. I'm interested to hear his point of view. But he's not going to fuck it. Here's the, and I, I love the fact that he's part of this show. But he's not going to come on here and dictate how we do our shit. Like he's just, it's just not going to fucking happen. And you don't come to me and tell me to call you something because it's not going to fucking happen. Um, I don't know. I feel, I, I feel like I may have really hurt his feelings this time, though, Nubby. I'm, oh, well, maybe because I'm kind of in, like, helping out here now. I kept my mouth shut about it. I'm just like, eh, whatever. It is what it is. You, you it are just a year yeah. ago. Remember last yeah. year? The, around this time, shit was going down between the LIM. Yeah. And Nova Awards were coming up. And I told them, get your shit together. But it just seems like now, this is all PX. This is, I don't know. This is different, yeah. This is, this, like I said, like this is like a, it's a, it's a self-entitled thing, man. It's, it, I don't know. T- to me... To me, what Tony Gabagool presented yesterday makes sense. And I've said many times, if he didn't want to fucking agree to it or admit it or whatever, his tile defenses were fucking shady and backhanded, and I don't think they were honest fucking tile defenses. Um, I, honestly, I, I think I think I dodged a bullet not fucking joining this group fucking last month, man. I don't know. I like. I almost. Kind of starting to have second thoughts here, but oh, maybe it's not because of the LIM itself. It's maybe it's him. And look, I don't, there's times I want to punch Danny in the face. I will never kick him in the nuts, but yeah. you don't do that shit. And the thing is, he did. Danny gave up the title for PX. Yeah. He was going off. He had his brother's back this entire time yep. up until that moment. And it's like you stole your brother's wallet and you kicked him in the yeah. ass. Who does yeah. that? And, 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 and even at Rock and Pro Wrestling when fucking Pax was getting beat down by the fucking idols, Danny was ready to jump that fucking guardrail. Yeah. 
and and then this is a shape. So I, I don't know. It's I don't know what's going through his fucking head. It's luckily, I have nothing to do with it. I don't have a, I don't have a dog in the fight, as they say. It's the L I M is the L I M. We'll do our shit over here. I'm guessing maybe if Pac Man cools down, he'll cools down. He'll be back next week. But um, no, fucking leaving leaving the show. That's that was unprofessional. That's, that's unprofessional. That, that, this this isn't top fan commitments at this point. Um, this is just freaking wrestling. We don't do that shit around here. No. You want to do that shit on your L I M podcast that I didn't know about this time? Um, you want to do that in the Power Hour? And you think uh, Rian's gonna put up with that shit? Yeah. Go ahead, try it on the Power Hour. Yeah. You, you'll get it worse. What was uh fucking dude? Uh, fucking Pac Man uses fucking wrestling terms way too much. But uh, is this what big timing looks like? <laughs> it's very douchebaggery. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Uh, what do we got for next week? Um, as of right now, they're Does whatever IPW? shows. Just IPW. I mean, if any shows pop up throughout the week and we get results for them, we'll get get them. Otherwise, yeah, it'll be IPW, and that's going to be a an interesting show. And it's actually a later start time. So, oh, is it? Yeah, instead okay. of it being two, it'll be four. I think it's going to involve that uh, baseball team again. I am not sure, but uh, throughout the week we'll find out, and then we'll let you know on the next podcast. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, keep, we'll keep it yeah, June June's pretty light on shows and shit. Yeah, um, a lot of graduations and yeah. uh, weddings, apparently. I just I was at one a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to be at one this Saturday coming up. Uh, eh. June, it's weird. I mean, I was, I, was, I was shocked that we did a CSW show yeah. last week. They're normally off in June. Um, I know SCW was tossing it up because they wanted to do this show last. They did that last week, and then there was talks about doing June later in the month, but it's a weird month. The summertime. Yay. Right. Um, yeah, so we'll be back next week. Uh, we'll figure out what we got to talk about at that point. Uh, if we don't have much, maybe we'll fancy book a fucking JFW show. You know? yeah, we yeah, haven't but, done that in a while, and I, yeah, my book is sitting that. right there. Perfect. Um, again, I want to thank the LIM and Jedi for joining uh, Freaking Out Studios. Um, it was awesome. I, I when I, I started talking to Joe on Saturday, before my shit started fucking shutting down on me, and we we're getting into the growth of Freaking Out Studios and how awesome that's been. So uh, it's really cool to see it go from two shows to six shows within a year. Um, and obviously the growth is always there and hoping to bring in more shows and stuff, but, um, make sure you check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, just by searching just for wrestling or the JFW podcast, listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts or watch our podcast on the just freaking wrestling YouTube channel. Listen and watch all these other shows for the mother box. Should I talk L I M uh, power hour, this freaking show, they're all just they're everywhere. Um, I got to get the Freaknet Studios website updated, so I got to include those guys on there as well. I haven't done that yet, but uh, I'll get that taken care of and shit. But make sure you subscribe to YouTube because there are some giveaways and shit of stuff I want to give away. But you got to get that number up on YouTube before we start picking and choosing fucking fans. So make sure you're over there. Um, nobody, that's all I got. I believe uh, we can ring the bell in this episode. It's been a long time. I know, right? It's been a minute. Perfect. As always, I am Travesty. And I am the Faction Slayer, Nubby, the Amazing Turtle, Cowabunga. And thank you for listening to another episode of Just for Wrestling, the JFW Podcast. <laughs>